All right, here we go into the biggest unit of the Calculus BC year. This is Unit 8. It deals with infinite series. By the time we're done, we're going to take a look at how polynomials can be used, extended infinitely as series, to approximate things that are not by any stretch polynomials. That's the end goal. It is nuts, I promise. So we're going to start with stuff with which we are familiar. Very basic series, geometric series, very basic. We're going to take a look at what it means for a series to converge. That's what these 15 minutes are all about. So let's go to work. By definition, an infinite series is an expression of the form a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot 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 there is some nth term plus dot 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 it goes on and on forever or it's the sum this is sigma notation of a bunch of a sub k's as k goes from 1 to infinity. If the limit as n approaches infinity of the sum of the a sub k's from 1 to n approaches a finite, finite limit s, then the series converges to S, S for sum, S for sum. Otherwise, the series diverges. So let's talk about what that means. Let's talk about what that means. Remember when we did sequences, I said, remember, a sequence is a list of numbers. It's a list of numbers. It's got commas. It's a list. The series is a sum. It's what you get when you add all the numbers in the sequence together. When you add all the numbers in the sequence together. So if you start taking a look at partial sums, if I'm going to get real Calc 2-y, we've got to talk about partial sums. So let's bring up the screen shade. You add up the first two numbers. Then you add up the first three numbers. Then you add up the first four, first five, first six, first n numbers. And you see that those sums are settling down. Settling down. Get a wife, couple of kids, stable job with the possibility of advancement. If those partial sums settle down, then we say that the series converges to S. But if you start taking a look at those partial sums, first term, first two, first three, first N, and you see that those sums do not settle down, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger, or they're bouncing back and forth, or they're doing just crazy stuff, then we see that the series diverges. So if we can, it's time to begin everybody's favorite game. Does it converge? Does it converge uh, is the question we're going to ask for about a month. And I have uh, four contestants here on our show. Uh, the first contestant is 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus and so on forever. Uh, I've got 3 plus 3.3 plus 3.33. Oh, thanks. You caught me. Now oh, it's magic pen. Nobody wants magic pen. Okay. So now it's okay. It's gone anyway. Plus 3.33 plus 3.333 plus dot dot dot. 
Uh, we've got seven tenths plus seven one hundredths plus seven one thousandths plus, and so on. The nth term here is seven over ten to the n. Uh, and then we've got one third plus one ninth plus one twenty seventh plus, so that the nth term is one over three to the n, and that goes forever. Four contestants, and the question each time is Does it converge? That is to say, if I take some of the first number, and the first couple, and the first three, and the first four, and I look at those sums as things get larger, do I approach a number? So I take a look at the sum, that's two, that's zero, that's two, that's zero. And I'm going to keep bouncing back and forth between two and zero, so I say no. That series does not converge. Then I take a look at the second example. That's 3. That's 6.3. That's 9.63. That's 12.963, and so on. Well, the numbers that we're adding are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so if we add numbers that themselves are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, no, that series does not converge because we're adding numbers that get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, here's the side note with that. La, the, the side note with that is that the sequence itself, the numbers themselves, are settling down. If I put commas where the plus signs are, that sequence is getting closer and closer to 10 thirds. 3.3 repeating. But to add the numbers together, well, that blows up. 0 0.7, 0 0.77, 0 0.777, 0 0.7777, 0 0.7777, and so on. This does converge. The sum is 0.777 repeating. Those terms get closer and closer to zero, we add them up, we get something that approaches 0 0.77777. One third, four ninths, a bunch of twenty sevenths, and so on. This also converges. In fact, it can be proven that the sum is one half. In fact, you're saying to yourself, wait a second, Wait a second. I recognize series like this. That's that series where, to multi uh, where we multiply by one-third to get from any term to the term following. I did well in pre-calculus mathematics, and so I know that that is a geometric series. Geometric series are our favorite series because they are predictable. You've got a first term, then you multiply by r to get the next one, and by r to get the next one, and by r to get the next one, and so on. And the sum of the geometric series is whatever the first term is over 1 minus r, provided that the absolute value of r is less than 1. And we said when we were in our pre-calc course together that if the absolute value of r was greater than or equal to 1, then the geometric series blows up. But if the terms are getting smaller and smaller and the series is geometric, it can be shown that the sum of that series is first term over 1 minus r. And so... The sum of this geometric series is the first term over 1 minus r, that's 1 third over 2 thirds, and there's your 1 half. How am I doing so far? I um, want to throw a quick side note in here. I want to throw a very quick side note in here. Ah. If the series converges, then the limit of the AKs 
is zero. That is to say, oh, go magic pen, this series converged. And so we should not be surprised that 7 over 10 to the n gets closer and closer to 0 as n gets large. Similarly, this, oh, magic pen. this series converges, gets closer and closer to 1 half as you add more and more terms. And so we should not be surprised that 1 over 3 to the n gets closer and closer to 0 because it's very, very hard to have a convergent series if your terms get larger and larger. However, the converse is not true. Just because you add terms and the terms get closer and closer to zero, that does not necessarily mean that your series converges. It is possible to add infinitely many, infinitesimally small things and get an infinite sum. Okay. So, time to make sure we know how to use a geometric series equation, the summation equation. Uh, so, we'll play everybody's favorite game, does it converge? Does it converge? Got a couple of contestants for you. Uh, the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 5 times 2 thirds to the n minus 1 and 3 minus 2 plus 4 thirds minus 8 ninths plus and so on. Got a couple of those for you. Um, Want to know if they converge. Well, I'm really bad at summation notation. I'm really bad at it. So what I do every time is I ask myself, self, what do the first few terms look like? And so if we substitute n equals 1, we get 5 times 2 thirds to the 0. 2 thirds to the 0 is 1. And then if I sub in n equals 2, I get 5 times 2 thirds to the 1. And if I sub in n equals 3, I get 5 times 2 thirds squared and so on. And this appears to be a geometric series where the first term is 5 and the r is 2 thirds. And so that appears to be 15. Now that formula only works if the absolute value of r is less than 1, which it is. So we say yes. We say yes. Similarly, this second series, I've got to identify r in this case. r is any term divided by the one before it. You could have taken 4 thirds and divided by negative 2, or negative 8 ninths and divided by 4 thirds. r is any term divided by the one before it. Is the absolute value of r less than 1? And the answer is yes. And so we can find the sum. The sum is the first term over 1 minus r that's 3 divided by 9 uh, 3 divided by 5 thirds that's 3 times 3 fifths that's 9 fifths and what that means is the more partial sums you take the more the more terms you include in a partial sum, the closer you're going to get to 9 fifths. If we added the first 100 terms, then the first 1,000 terms, then the first 10,000 terms, and so on, those partial, those partial sums, we get closer and closer to 9 fifths. I leave you with a couple of OYOs, a couple of things to think about that we will talk about when we get together. The first is this sum, the sum of 4 times 3 halves to the k, and I encourage you to write out a few terms to see if those terms uh, do indeed satisfy the prerequisites for a convergent geometric series. And then the other sum is pi halves plus pi squared over 8 plus pi cubed over 32 plus and so on so that we can do that together. Um, one more thing. One more thing. Uh, I guess I'll leave you with three OYOs. 
three on your own problems to think about that we'll talk about when we get together in class. Uh, that's one I'm pretty sure that you have seen before, but I'd be glad to take a look at it with you uh, when we get together. So enjoy playing Does It Converge? Geometric series are our friend. We're going to use them a lot throughout the unit. So let's master this. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you tomorrow.